What's up guys, Hey King here bringing you some latest news on Boruto, the anime. So, apparently we got this. The uh, anime Boruto, Naruto Next Generations began in April of 2017. It did? April? I thought it was 2016, wasn't it? Six years have passed since then, but episode 293, set to air on March 26, will mark the last episode of the first part of the series. But don't worry, the Naruto and Boruto saga is not over yet. Part 2 of the anime is already in the works. Okay, so before I continue on any further, I want to like and subscribe, please, please, please. And yeah, let's get started on this then. Damn. So, Boruto, the anime, is ending. Um, did it get cancelled? No, it didn't get cancelled. Maybe it did. No, it did get cancelled because it does say that they're working on part two. No, this is this is unexpected. This is very unexpected. But at the same time, I feel like I, I predicted this like I, I to myself. Because when they announced that they were doing the cold arc early this year, like, like it was, oh, we're going to start in February or something. I remember thinking, that's way too early to do the cold arc. It's way too early. There's not enough... The cold arc's not over yet in the manga. It's probably not going to be over for at least another six to potentially eight months. Like, after this month's over, after we get the chapter this month, there's probably four chapters left until the arc ends. At best, eight chapters, okay? You're looking at two volumes then. You're looking at it ending with volume, either volume 21 or volume 22. And then there's the fact to consider that the original, uh, you know, the original attempt was for the series to end with 30 volumes. And that will be around 2026, late 2026, maybe 2027, I think. Uh, but yeah, it's like, no, this, 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 no, no. Like, what, what is the point of doing the anime ad adaptation now? You're going to, you're going to get to a certain point and you're going to have to do lots of anime canon a a again. And yeah, you're just going to be pissing people off that way. So it made no sense. And now we get the news that they're going to end it. They're going to end part one with, uh, with what I believe is, is it chapter 66. Is that it? Is that chapter? Because episode 293 would be an adaptation of chapter. I'm assuming it's chapter 66, which is the uh, chapter where, you know, that big thing happens. Um, <clears throat> let me see if I can find it on here. Why am I even trying it? It's the chapter where Boruto dies. Okay, it's the chapter where Boruto dies. I'm assuming that's where it ends, where Kawaki and Boroshiki are fighting, and Kawaki eventually manages to kill him. So that's where the first part of the anime is ending. It's going to end with a big cliffhanger of, oh my god, Boruto's dead. What does that mean? Is the series over then? It's like, yeah, the series is over. The main character has died, obviously. So the story's over. Yeah, yeah. Like, I remember thinking what happened in the manga. Okay. This is a good direction. Maybe we could spend a few chapters dealing with the loss and then having the characters, like the supporting characters, like Sarada and Mitsuki and Naruto, try and figure out a way to bring him back, perhaps. And the next chapter, straight away, he's back to life again. And it was like, oh, well, that's a lot of wasted potential. Maybe that's what they're going to do. Maybe the anime is going to change it around a bit. I, I doubt it, because like they're saying they're, doing on part, they're working on part two. When's part two coming out? Well, the rumors are this, the anime is going on a high tier for three months. So after that, after this month, it's going to high taste and it's coming back in July, apparently. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't think it's true because uh, the cold arc is not over yet. Like, I feel, I feel like if they want to bring the anime back, they would have to wait for the cold arc to be over. Hell, at best, they, they want to wait until there's a time skip. Like, this is very confusing. The fact they didn't wait until a time skip to do this. Like, no, we're just going to jump straight ahead to, to uh, an end part one now. Like... You could tell there's problems. You could tell there's problems, and it's making me wonder. Like, are, are they are they thinking of maybe making this seasonal? Because I think if any anime deserves to be seasonal, it's Boruto. Now, let me get me. Like, like, first of all, I don't mind the anime canon if it's good, but a lot of the anime canon since the Kara arc has been meh. Okay, the tuning exam uh, anime canon that we got was decent. It was great seeing all the other characters kicking ass and that. But then it promised us a Boruto and Mitsuki fight that we never got. They off-screened it and it was like, 
F you. F you. Right. And then the next after that was, was pretty much the worst anime canon arc we've ever gotten. The Fanotu or Land of Water Part 2 arc that we got was terrible. 25 episodes of that garbage and it was terrible. There were moments here and there. Don't get me wrong. There were some good character moments here and there. But it was wasted potential. Like the writing was shoddy and all over the place. It's like, oh, this guy who's obsessed with this villain. Like, you know, he's a big fanatic. Like, he's bad. He's bad. Oh, he just killed one of the main characters. Oh my god, we need to kill this dude. We killed him. Next episode, we find out, oh, he wasn't such a bad guy. Oh, he's got a wife and son. Wait, he's got a wife? So why was he so obsessed with that female character? Like, wouldn't it make more sense that was his wife? And yeah, she died, and then he dies, and the son's pissed off. Like... Like, the writing was just a mess. It's like, oh, guys, we can't write this villain. Like, let's make him, let's make him sympathetic. Let's make him too big. It's like, no. No, you had this no-name, like, kill this character. And then, like, it was just a mess. It was just bad. And then we got the uh, uh, Himawari and Kawaki at graduation arc, which was decent. It was fun. It was a nice slice of life episode with a little mystery. That was fine. I didn't mind that. And then we got the eighth in Akara arc. And that again, that was fine. That was decent. It wasn't great, but it was it was decent for what it was. And I like that. I like when they give us short, short anime canon arcs and they don't prolong it. Like like the like the like the Fanato Fanato clan arc wasn't as good as say the stone arc that we got with Mitsuki and uh, Onoki. It wasn't as good as the Kara Arctication arc. Like, which brought all the other long other arcs together and was like, here you go, it was worth watching all of those for this. And it's like, wow, that was great. Like, you could tell the anime was in trouble. Like, you could really tell. And it got to a point where people were like, it's going to get cancelled. And it's like, it's not going to get cancelled. At best, it's going to go on a break. And it looks like it's going on a break. But then that brings up an interesting question. Are they going to bring it back as a seasonal? And, it, like, think about it. You, every year you have 12 manga chapters, right? If this story is ending in 2026, 2027 at best, like from now till, from now, or say from 2024 till, till 20, you're getting 12 manga chapters, right? That's, that's, that's about 12 episodes. Depending on dialogue, maybe you can extend it to 16 episodes. But if you're doing your typical sort of 24, 25 episode seasonal approach like Boku no Hero does, then half of it is going to be anime, is going to be manga canon, and the other half is going to be anime canon. And you have to do anime canon, you have to, because the manga story doesn't neutralize any other side characters. It doesn't. It's shite. Okay, anyone saying that the manga is better is lying to themselves. It's not. There is no world building. There is no character development. Things randomly happen in the manga, and you're like, what the hell was that? Where is Orochimaru? Where is uh, Kakashi? Where... None of those characters you like show up in the manga, okay? Like, it's very focused, very small scale. If you're going to do seasonal and you're, and you're going to do 24 ep 25 episodes, half of it has to be manga, half of it has to be anime. But you have to do it in such a way where it feels connected. And because it's short as well, because, you, you know, half of it is anime canon, that means there's no reason to screw it up in terms of the writing because you're getting a set amount of episodes and you're being told, okay extend the manga material with anime canon ex episodes and if you're going to do original anime canon episodes make it good anime canon episodes that develop the world and the side characters or build up to main story material better that way and like yeah if you do it seasonal it would work like that and obviously it would end in four four or five years like what if 2026 2027 you're looking at pff, yeah, you're looking at, like, let's see, 24, 25, 20. Yeah, you're looking at three to four years for the series ending if you do it seasonal like that. And at best, you're looking at, yeah, like, what, 100 episodes to wrap it all up. Like, that's not bad. That's pretty damn good. And plus, the quality would actually skyrocket. It would be very good quality. Maybe not as great as uh, Bleach. Because the focus, Studio Parrot's focus is going to be completely on Bleach for the next few years. People are going to be like, what do you mean the next few years? Like, Bleach is going to be over soon. It's like, no, it's not going to be over. It's a four-course series with uh, 52 episodes. We've already got 30 of them. And this is going to go throughout the next three years. Okay, Bleach is not ending until 20, 2025, 2026 at best. And then you've got the novel materials to adapt. And uh, that that's three no four novels. Two of those novels are short as hell. And there are, they would be about four to five, maybe six episodes in length. The other two novels are huge and, you're, and they're double the size. And you're looking at pretty much 10, maybe to 12 episodes for that. 
So you're looking at two more, three more calls for that. So Bleach is going for a good few years. Whether you want to admit it or not, or not realize the facts, it's going for a good few years. The website they got a few years back, like what, two, three years ago, they had it running. They had it set up so it runs for 10 years at least. So they, they are looking at the long-term studio period. So that focus is on that. And now Boruto is going and they're going to focus on part two. And they need, they need part two to succeed. They need it to succeed. They're obviously going to rebrand it maybe. Maybe they're going to call Boruto part one. Next generation is the next one's going to be called part two. Maybe they're going to give it a new name like Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. Like maybe that's what they're doing. But they, it obviously a rebrand. It's a case of, okay, we, need, we need, can't screw this up. We need this to be good. And while they're doing that, you also have Black Clover, right, coming out. And if the movie is successful, and I hope to God it is... They're going to bring the anime back, certainly, for a season 5 to, to wherever the, the manga's going. And the manga's probably going to be around for the next 2-3 years before it ends. A lot of things are coming to an end. And Studio Parrot's looking at these and it's like, what can we cash in on? Like, And what the focus is going to be on? But yeah, Boruto, like, it's unexpected. It's unexpected, but it's welcome if if what they're doing is they're going to go seasonal. And they're not going to keep doing 50 episodes every year. And, and only some of it's going to be good. And some of it's going to be like very mediocre to very crap. I'm hoping that's not the case, but uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, guys, that's my thoughts on Boruto. Uh, I'm surprised, but yeah, it happened. And yeah, I'm curious to see where it goes. Can't believe it's ending, but yeah. In next in two weeks, it's over. Like, part one's over. Like, that's crazy. But yeah, that's my thoughts on it, guys. Remember to like and subscribe, as always. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.